ulit. Mayroon na naman akong ano, ituturo. Oh, si Korekik na naman ako. It's all about phrasal verbs. Ayan. Phrasal verbs are those uh, group of words that has really a correct meaning. Siyempre, phrasal verbs e eh, parang dalawang words lang yun o tatlo pero mostly dalawa pero it comes with three sometimes. Dalaw dalawang words lang siya pero pagbigkasin mo kompleto na. Kompleto na yung sentence mo. Sabi na, get off of me. Umalis ka sa harapan ko. Nakakasawa ng tsura mo. Parang ganun ba? Excuse me. Hindi naman ganun. Get off of me. Don't touch me. Get off of me. Ganun. So, uh, number one, get around. Get around. Get around. Get around. Huwag nyo na i-pronounce yung D. Magtamad na tayo kasi gano'n ang Amerikano. Walang D. Wala na yung matatanggal na yung D dito sa around. Gagawin na lang nila na around. Get around. Get around. Ang, ang get, hindi may T, di ba? Gagawin nila D sound yung T. So, get around. Get around. Get around. So, get around means to go or travel to different places. Example. I use to get around easily it's because I'm still healthy. Oh, yeah, di po. Very good. I used to get around anywhere I want. It's because I'm still healthy to walk. Oh, di ba? Number two. Get through. Mm -hmm. Get through. Example. Awang mo na. Paliwana ko mo meaning yung get through. Talk someone on the phone successfully. So, yun ang meaning. Successfully. Get someone talking on the phone successfully. O, yun. Nagkabaliktara na tuloy. Example. I call you later. I can't get through right now. So, I promise I call you later. Because of the telephone has a problem sometimes. So, you can't get through. O maybe, nagtatalibabad sa iba. Kaya sasabihin na, busy ako, hindi ko narinig. Nakamute. O di ba, maraming style ang mga tao ngayon. Ay, nakamute. Hindi ko alam tumatawag ka kasi nakamute. Nasa bulsa ko lang. Niwala ka pa. Sige na lang nga. I believe you are mute. So, ha, get through meaning to talk someone on the phone successfully. Yan lang yun. Diyan lang muna tayo. Huwag natin padamihin kay maraming meaning. So, number three, get across. Makalimutan ko ang get across. Igawin mo pala yung D, ang G-E-E-T, no? So, get across. Get across. Meaning, to make someone understand something. Hmm. And another meaning, to go from one side to the other. Halimbawa, dito ka, no? Sa opposite ka pupunta. So, I need to get across so that I can meet my friend over there. Wow. Ah, maliligaw na ako mamaya. So, meaning to go from one side to the other. To the other. Example, we need to get across the street. Oh, tama ba yung sinabi ko na gusto kong pumunta sa opposite? So, dapat mag-cross talaga ako sa road. Sa daan. Hindi ka pwedeng lumipad kasi wala kang pakpak, ano, at hindi ka si Tarzan, at hindi ka si Superman. No, diba? Nagka nagkaroon tayo ng cartoon, Sparty ngayong gabi. O, sige na, number four, get off. Get off. Hindi get off. Get off. Get off. Meaning, to leave a place. Aalis sa isang place. So, example, What time do you get off work? Uh -huh. Grumpy. Serious na tanong. What time do you get off work? Mm, I-translate nyo nga. Kayo nga translate dyan. Anong time ka ba lumalabas after sa work? Mm, ganun lang yun. Pasimple 
Ayan, no. Huwag nyo na kasi pahirapan, do. Get off, that means leave the place. So, yun lang. Kadali ang phrasal verbs. Apat lang, ha? Anong, is, anong una? Get around, get through, get across, and get off. Pag naapakan nyo pa ako, sasabihin ko sa inyo, Excuse me, get off. Kakashock. Sige ha, tama na muna to ha. I need to eat my dinner actually. So, bye-bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.